Dear friends, for two years now, we have been witnessing a global coup d'etat in which a financial and ideological elite has succeeded in seizing control of part of the national government, public and private institutions, the media, the judiciary, politicians and religious leaders. All of these, without distinction, have become enslaved to these new masters who ensure power, money and social affirmation to their accomplices. Fundamental rights, which up until yesterday were presented as inviolable, have been trampled underfoot in the name of an emergency Today, a health emergency. Tomorrow, an ecological emergency. And after that, an internet emergency. This global coup d'etat deprives citizens of any possibility of defense, since the legislative, executive, and judicial powers are complex in the violation of law, justice, and the purpose for which they exist. It is a global coup d'etat, because this criminal attack against citizens extends to the whole world, with every very rare exception. It is a world war where the enemies are all of us, even those who unwittingly have not yet understood the significance of what is happening. It is a war fought not with weapons, but with illegitimate rules, wicked economic policies, and intolerable limitation of natural rights. Supranational organizations, financed in large measure by the conspirator of this coup d'etat, are interfering in the government of individual nations and in the lives, relationships, and health of billions of people. They are doing it for money, certainly, but even more. So in order to centralize power, so as to establish a planetary dictatorship, it is the great reset of the World Economic Forum, the Agenda 2030 of the United Nations. It is the plan of the new world order in which a universal republic enslaves everyone and a religious of humanity cancels faith in Christ. In the face of this global coup d'etat, it is necessary to form an international anti-globalist alliance which gathers all those who want to oppose the dictatorship who have no intention of becoming slaves to a faceless power, who are not willing to cancel their own identity, their own individuality, their own religious faith. If the attack is global, the defense must also be global. I call upon rulers politicians and religious leaders, intellectuals and all people of goodwill, inviting them to unite in an alliance that launches an anti-globalist manifesto, refuting point by point the errors and deviation of this, this dystopia of the new world order and proposing concrete alternatives for a political program inspired by the common good 
the moral principles of Christianity, traditional values, the protection of life and the natural, fam natural family, the protection of business and work, the promotion of education and research, and respect for creation. This anti-globalist alliance will have to bring together the nations that intend to escape the infernal yoke of tyranny and affirm their own sovereignty, forming agreements of mutual collaboration with nations and people who share their principle and the common yearning for freedom, justice and goodness. It will have to denounce the crimes of the elite, identify those responsible, denounce them to international tribunals and limit their excessive power and harmful influence. It will have to prevent the action of the lobbies above all by fighting against the corruption of state officials and those who work in the information industry, and by freezing the capital used to destabilize the social order. In nations where the government is subservient to the elite, they will be able to establish popular resistance movement and communities of national liberation including representatives of all sectors of society who propose a radical reform of politics inspired by the common good and firmly opposed to, neo, to the neo Malthusian project of the globalist agenda. I invite all those who want to defend the traditional Christian society to meet together in an international forum to be, held as, to be held as soon as possible in which representatives of various nations come together to present a serious, concrete and clear proposal. My appeal is made to political leaders and to rulers who care about good of their citizens. Leaving aside the old system of political parties and the logic imposed by a system enslaved to power and money. I call the Christian nation together from east to west, inviting head of state and the healthy forces of institutions, the, econo the economy, labor, university, healthcare, and information to join a common project, disrupting the old system and putting aside the hostility that are designed by the enemies of humanity in the name of divide et impera. We do not accept our adversaries' rules because they are made precisely to prevent us from reacting and organizing an effective an incisive opposition. I call upon nation and their citizens to align them, themselves under the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, the only King and Savior, the Prince of Peace, in Oxino Vinces. Let us found this anti-globalist alliance. Let us give it is a simple and clear program and let us free humanity from a totalitarian regime that brings together in itself the horrors of the worst dictatorships of all time. If we continue to delay, if we do not understand the threat that looms over us all, if we do not react by organizing ourselves into a firm and courageous resistance, this infernal regime that is establishing itself 
everywhere will not be able to be stopped. And may the Almighty God assist us and protect us.